This is um, from Pro Football Focus. They're calling it Captain Checkdown. So lowest checkdown rates. Um, and when you look at the lowest, uh, Baker Mayfield checks in at six. So Jalen Hurts one, Tua Tagovailoa is two. Uh, Mullins, Brown's backup is three. Trubisky, Allen, Baker Mayfield six. All right, now we flip that over. The highest checkdown rate, you got Mason Rudolph one. Teddy Bridgewater, two, Taylor Heineke, three, and uh, then you got Prescott, Dak Prescott, well, Philip Rivers at six, Prescott at seven, and Deshaun Watson at eight. Uh, those are kind of surprising, those last three in particular. Yeah, I think that, you know, when it comes to the, these these lists are interesting, right? There's, there's always going to be outliers, I think. You're going to see some of these. Uh, at like the highest check down rates, you're going to see some guys that are really good quarterbacks up towards the top because that's more part of the game. And then the same thing with the lowest check down rates. But names like Jalen Hurts and Tua and Nick Mullins and Trubisky on the lowest check down rates makes a lot of sense, right? Uh, you see Patrick Mahomes there at seven. That makes a lot of sense. What did every defense try to do Patrick Mahomes this year? Uh, he He couldn't curb his aggressiveness right so teams sat in four deep and three deep and made him try to uh take the check down or take what they were giving him and when he did the chiefs were successful they got really hot in the middle of the season but ultimately came back and bit him again in the postseason where he couldn't just control that that uh, need to push the ball down the field now you know on the other side of the page there's guys that want to push the ball down the field all the time and won't take the check down there has to, you have to find that middle ground, right? I thought it was interesting that on the highest check down rate, you know, the best quarterback you see towards the top of that list is like Derek Carr, right, at three. But that was interesting. Uh, a lot of these other guys like Mac Jones and Trevor Lawrence are rookies, so that's not so surprising, right, or younger quarterbacks. Uh, you know, Drew Brees, that makes sense to see him up there. Um, but, you know, there are going to be good quarterbacks like Goff, you know, and as, as we already mentioned, uh, Derek Carr, who make that a part of their game, right? You know, you, you, it would make sense to me, Dave, that the best quarterbacks would be found somewhere between 10 and 20, somewhere in the middle on both of these, right? You don't want to be at the top end of either of these, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm